Hey, Big Spring Middle School. This is the another tutorial for the wire sculpture techniques, and these are the more complicated ones. Um, and we are going to talk about three different techniques: um, twisting the wire, two different ways to attach the wire, and then how to shape the wire. So, in your art kit, you should have received a pack of wires that are um, all the same color. Um, and if you need more wire or a different color, just come see me, and I'll give you some. Um, but what we're going to make is a three-dimensional object out of wire. So 3D means it needs to look good from all different sides. You can see here I'm holding up this little palm tree. It's got some waves and water, like a little oasis in the desert. And I've sculpted the different palm leaves, and I've attached them here. And I did different techniques in this one. And all of these techniques that I used to build this, I will teach you here next. But just to give you some other ideas, um, this is a three-dimensional rabbit. And this one's more of an abstract planet with rings. Again, you can see it from all the way around, okay? So the first step I'm gonna teach you after you get your wire all opened up here, just start with one piece. We're just gonna practice. You can follow along with me with your own wire. But the first technique we're gonna do is a twist technique. And this works great with one piece of wire, two pieces of wire, or even three or four pieces of wire. But by itself, one piece of wire is not very strong or stable. When you double up the wire, it can get even more strong. And you do this by simply twisting it. I'm kind of holding it up here and I'm just making it into like rope. And that makes it stronger, more stiff and better for building like the structure or the base of your wire sculpture. If you want to make this even more durable, you can fold it in half, pinch the ends together, pull it, okay, and then twist it again. So now it was a single piece of wire that we doubled up and then we doubled up the doubling. So now there's four pieces of wire, four thickness four pieces of wire thick for this sculpture, okay? So this is really strong and really durable, and if you bend it into a certain shape, it's gonna really stay that way. In addition to twisting the wire, you can always braid the wire, which looks really great and also makes it more durable. So that is the first technique, twisting. Second technique is attaching, okay? I'm gonna grab another piece of wire here and to attach a piece, like let's say I'm going to have this be kind of like the base shape somehow. Um, what I'm going to do, um, if I want to attach a piece to one, I'm going to snip this and I've got two pieces here. And let's say I want to make the shape for the bottom of my sculpture. I'm gonna make just like a circle. So I need to take these two ends, crisscross them over each other, okay? I'm going to twist just those ends, like it's the end of a bread, twisty tie bag or garbage bag, okay? And I'm not done there. If I just leave it like that, it can easily come apart. What I need you to do next is take this end, pull it, underneath and twist that around the original base piece, okay? And then you wanna flatten it out and smooth it and that's what makes it stay attached. That is one method of attaching. Another method of attaching is the hook slash eye method. This one's often used for jewelry, but it's also good for any kind of movable um, part that you want. So for the first step of this, we're going to make a hook and hook is just a little loop. Actually, I should call this the eye. Got those terms mixed up. This is going to be the eye. We'll make the hook next. So the eye is just a little loop-de-loop -loop here that holds it in place, just a little mini circle there. And then the hook will be on the other end. So a hook is simply bending the wire down, really pinching it so that it forms this, like a letter J there, a little mini hook. And to get them to attach, you simply bend them in there, 
place the hook within the eye. Let me show you that again, but slower. Place it right inside there and it's gonna stay in place. Okay, so those are two different ways of attaching. You also have some wire um, and also some clear tape in your art kit, which can be used to help you with that as well. All right, um, so those are the two attaching methods. The third technique is creating different shapes. And I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to do this. One is to use a pencil to help you create different shapes. So with another piece of wire, you can test this out. And I'm just gonna use a regular pencil for this, but technically you could use any material that you have. You could use a thicker Sharpie marker you could use even like a remote control around your house. You could use a water bottle, anything that can be used to wrap the wire around. Do not use your finger for this. You don't wanna get the wire stuck on your finger. So use an inanimate object for this. But I'm going to take the end of my wire, I'm gonna, with my other hand, I'm gonna pinch that piece of wire and hold it in place steadfast. So don't move that end. And then with my other hand, I'm just gonna wrap the wire around here. I'm going to keep doing that pretty close. You want to put it as tight as possible and I'm going to just scrunch it together and you can see what's happening here. It's getting to be a spiral or like a slinky or a spring. I'm going to keep going until I get to the end here. I'm gonna pinch it all together. I'm gonna kind of squeeze really hard and hold it in place. And then you can let go. And you can see it's already created a spring form there. You can slide it right off. And this will be really fun to add into your sculpture. All right. I'm actually gonna cut this in half. You could keep it like this. Um, and that is actually how I built the palm tree base here. But what you can do, there's a couple of different things you can do to this. I'm going to pull it apart and you could keep it wider like that. And I'm going to snip it here. Just so I have two pieces to show you the two different techniques. You can keep pulling it really, really wide. And then when you have it where you want it, I'm just going to take my hand and smash it down. And that creates some really interesting wavy line qualities there for your sculpture. So this could be bent in all kinds of different ways. Right? Another way would be to keep it thinner, but you can also use this and instead of just flattening it, um, I'm going to pull it out and do the same flattening technique again, but instead of keeping them rounded here, you can actually pinch it with your fingers and you could pinch just the tops of the wavy edges or you could pinch both top and bottom. So I'll give you some options here. All right, so this is what it looks like when you pinch together just the top parts of that, which gets a really cool effect. But you can also pinch the top and the bottom. So that's what I'm going to show you with this other piece. And this will create a tighter zigzag or wavy form. Um, I do have some pliers here in class, which can help you pinch that even tighter. Or if you have pliers at home, you can use those as well. Okay, so there's that. Lots of different techniques. So are. And last but not least, making different shapes. So in the time of this recording, Valentine's Day is coming up, which is why I'm wearing pink today. Don't normally wear pink. Um, but when I twist this using that same attaching technique that I showed you earlier, that creates a circle. But with the, within this circle, you can bend it to be any other sort of shape that you want. So since it's Valentine's Day, like I mentioned, I'm gonna make a heart. So I'm pinching down here to get it 
to be the base of the heart. And then I'm gonna push to make the top section of the heart. I'm gonna pinch in here. You can even twist a little bit. And there we go. You can do that with any shape, with any size piece of wire. You can make it bigger or smaller. You can even make it with a loop-de-loop -loop piece, okay? So let's take a moment to review here, okay? You've learned the twist technique or braid technique. It was really great to make the wire more durable and stronger. Two different techniques to attach, twisting, and then the hook eye technique. Next one is making different shapes by looping it around a pencil or a pen or another object and getting wavy lines and you can sculpt that into different techniques. That could be a cool flower or sunburst. And then lastly, sculpting to be different shapes there that you could then attach or get to stand up so many different possibilities okay and now that you have those down i'm going to let you explore those and then you can start building okay try to use all of those different techniques and see what you can come up with